Hey guys, welcome to XPS Tech. My name is Vineet and in today's video we are going to talk about a very important command of Linux system that is the chmod or change mod command. If you have seen my last video in which I have discussed about few essential command of Linux, I intentionally did not cover this, uh, this particular command because I think that it requires a little bit of more understanding for you to use it. So in today's video, I'll quickly cover this command that is the change mode command. Alright, so let's begin today's video. chmod or change mode command is the command in Linux that is used for files and folders to give or deny the read write or execute privileges to a user group of user or any other user that is there of the computer so the syntax of this command is you type in chmod that is change mode and then you give the options then the mode that you want to give and then the file name to which you want to give let me open up the terminal and let me go to the downloads downloads directory now here you can see that I have two folders three folders which is shown by the blue color and one file now to see what privileges these files and folders have all we have to do is we have to type in ls give a space dash l this particular command I've covered in my last video and press enter now as you can see it shows the privileges that this particular file has for example this is a you can see from here D the first alphabet is D that stands for directory if you see a dash that means that it is a file alright then the next three alphabets is for the owner of the file so in this case the owner of this folder has read R stands for read W for write and X for execute so the owner of this folder has all three privileges that is to read write and execute the next three alphabet is for the users who are member of files group all right for them also you you can see that it shows read write and execute this shows who is the owner of this particular file or folder and the next is the files group so xps tag in this case the group is also xps tag and the owner is also xps tag the last here let me let us go back to this particular line the last three is for the any other user apart from the owner and the files group member any other user they can only read this file they cannot write it or they cannot execute it so here you can see all the modes that a particular file has now to change it we have the chmod command now the syntax of chmod command is you type in chmod give the options and the mode that you want to change to and the file to which you want to change now the options there are three options dash capital R is for recursive that means all the files and folders that are there in that folder particular folder will also get the same privileges dash f is to force uh, that particular mode even if an error occurs and dash v is for verbose then comes the mode now there are three modes as we can see read write and execute Re r is for read w is for write and x for execute and then we give the file name so this is the syntax now there are two ways to specify the mode all right one is an octal mode now first let us see the octal mode in octal mode you give type in the numbers in octal for x if you want to give an ex execute uh, <coughs> execute privileges the number you type in is 1 <coughs> if you want to give a write ex uh, privilege the number is 2 and for read the number is 4 if you want to give read and write privileges then you add 4 and 2 that is 6 if you want to give all the privileges to the owner 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7 so you type in 7 Similarly, the next is for group and for uh, other other users that are there in the computer. So, for example, you have the chmod command dash r 
is for recursive mode that is that means all the files and folders that are present will also be given the same privilege then is the mode now here you can see the first the first digit is is for owner of the file now it says 7 that means the owner has the privileges read write and execute all three privilege the next is for uh, users who are member of owner file group they also can also um, uh, they also have all the three privilege and then it is four so four is for read so that means any other user that are there in the computer has only read privilege and then you give the file name so this is the octal mode of giving uh, of using ch mod all right so let us uh, try this particular command so you type in ch mod right now as you can see it is read write execute that means 7 this is also 7 and this is 4 now let us change this to uh, 7 1 1 all right you type in ch mod 7 1 1 and you give the directory win press enter now let us check the privilege now as you can see the owner of the file has all these three um, privilege then uh, this is for the uh, users who are member of the file group and then it is for the any other user account so now we have successfully used chmod command and let's go to the next method to give modes that is the symbolic method symbolic method is little different in this the syntax is chmod and then the references that you want to give then the operator and then you give the mode and then the file name all right so let's check for the references there are four references that you can give u is for the owner of the file g small letter g is for the users who are member of files group o is for users who are neither u nor g neither owner of the uh, file nor member of file groups and then a is for all that is the owner file group members and any other user that are that is there of the, in the computer so it is equivalent to UGO all right so that is the references next is the operator operator if you can see there are three options first is plus which adds the mode to the specified classes minus is remove that removes the mode and then equals is the exact so whatever you specify the mode exactly that uh, mode will be given to the file all right and the mode is rwx that is read write execute example is as you can see ch mod you type in u u is the owner of the file and give a plus sign plus operand and then x x is for execute and then you give the file name now this will add whatever privilege already the file has it will add execute privilege to the owner of the file all right so that is the syntax let us try the symbolic method so right now as you can see we have uh, the owner has all the three privilege the file group members have only execute and the uh, any other user also have the execute so let us change that let us use the ch mod and the symbolic method we want to change uh, the file group members so th in that case it is g and we want to add read and write privileges so you give plus and then write i'm sorry read read and write privileges and then you mention the folder win and press enter now if we check that as you can see read and read and write privileges have been added to the users who are member of file group so this is how the ch mod a very important command change mode command works in linux i hope this video is useful useful to you and please remember to press the like button if you like this video if you have any suggestion or comment you can type in your suggestion and comment in the comment box and thank you for watching this video i'll see you next time